In the battle for the NHL's 29th spot, the Leafs defeat the Carolina Hurricanes 3-2 in regulation. And it's been a while since the Leafs have spent less than 61 minutes on the ice in a game. And as happy as I am that the Leafs won, at the same time, I'm equally embarrassed to say it was the battle for the 29th spot. Because with all our hopes and dreams higher than something that's, well, extremely high, we didn't expect our Leafs at this point in the season to be battling for second last spot. Though Gus gave us some really juicy rebounds in the first, he controlled the rest of his game and came out with 34 saves on the night. And that's nothing to bat a stick at. Or a puck. Luke Shen saw his ice time increase again and came out at the end of the game a plus one. Not bad. With some great defensive play, Stentniak showed himself again to be one of the hardest working Leafs in the ice and was rewarded with an assist. Carbley too worked hard and was rewarded with an assist on one of his greatest offensive seasons ever. But let's talk about Hagman. Dude, what is up? If you ask me, he looked rather ish. You know, good, ish, productive, ish. He's an atrocious giveaway in the second and almost puts the Leafs in a rough position in the third as he trips up his man with time winding down. Thankfully, the ref didn't catch it. But Hagee, buddy, smarten up. There's a lot of buzz at the beginning of the game. Fans were upset with Wilson's decision to put Kessel with Mitchell and Blake. And I want to talk about this for a minute because I thought it was great. We have Phil Kessel, who everyone agrees is an offensive powerhouse. Then you place him on the line with Jason Blake, someone on the team with lots of speed and loves to drive the net. Not a bad idea. I'll pair them with John Mitchell, Mitchell being the fastest skater on the Leafs last year. And though his offensive production has waned this year, he really has kept up the defensive responsibility. So Wilson has now put together an extremely fast line, probably the Leafs' fastest, with two offensive wingers and a defensively minded centerman, who has proved in the past that he can be offensive as well. When I found out Kessel was coming to the Leafs months ago, Mitchell was actually my first choice of who to center him. But some of you might know better, so here's my question of the game. Without any hypothetical trades or transactions, who on the Leafs' current roster do you think should center Kessel? I think it's a fair question. Now let's go back to the idea of the battle for 29th spot. With the Leafs win, it puts them within 4 points of 6 teams and 6 points of 10 teams. 9 of which lost their last game, 5 of which are in the Eastern Conference, and 2 the Leafs have a game in hand against. And also consider this, with the production against Carolina, it keeps them out of last spot of goals against and in 25th spot of goals for. With the Leafs seemingly improving from game to game, these are important things to keep in mind. As they climb the list in goals for and goals against, this will ultimately determine what direction they're heading in the regular standing. But enough of the numbers, it's kind of making my eyes square. Next game is against the Red Wings at home, and we're hoping they can pull out another win. Because with another win, they're at a 29th spot and further up the ladder.